Coming up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between Francis Ngannou and the Reem, Alistair Overeem. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Overeem is seven years his senior. He weighed in at 260 pounds. Ngannou will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Alistair Marie. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Francis, the Predator, and God! You have seen belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your camp. So they met for the first time. It was December of 2017 at UFC 218 in Detroit. 
Francis Ngannou with one of the greater highlight reel knockouts in UFC heavyweight history. Your thoughts on what adjustments? Oh! Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, he might be out. Big knee there. like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice leg kick land. And he oh! comes through with a big knee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Big oh. knee lands there. He'll engage in a single collar tie. He's so oh! Knee to the body. Outstanding output on both sides. Oh! 27 total strikes have landed for Francis and Gotham. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now, he turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Overeem is stunned. Overeem trying to grab a leg. Ooh, blocks the shot. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Left hand punch from the clinch. Overy gets the takedown. Useful. And Ganu's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, stuck in a guillotine. He should be defending right now. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about it, there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight, he submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt, 
into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.